What's up guys, so in today's video I've got something really exciting to show you. I was lucky enough to be invited to the event featuring the brand new map Fracture. So I'm going to go through the full map, show you exactly what the layout is, especially when it comes to spawns, you'll find it very very unique. And also I have raise jumps at the end of the video that I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you later. So where I've spawned right now is I'm currently in CT spawn. So as you'll see, it's in the middle of the map right now, which is really different. I've never seen this before, but they did mention it was like a H. So as you get here, you've got your H. The most weird part is if you're over at attackers, attackers spawn here. And as you can see, you put your barrier there and your barrier here. So you can't go left or right, but if I press map, you'll see that it also says attacker side over here. So what you can do is you'll have the X here and you'll have, I guess, the go sign. So the stop and the go. So you can see that I cannot click onto the rope, but this side you can. So if you click onto this rope, you'll see that you don't have to press anything besides E and it takes you there. Um, you can shift on the rope. I'll just show you just now. And it can slow you down so you can you know be heard going under because up here let me just get off so up there is the ct spawn so you don't want to be you know flying under right at the start of the round you want to be doing it before the round starts so this being the really weird part is now if you have like attackers over here where I am and attackers there. over here you can split B this way which I find really weird but I mean playing a few games with everyone it kind of works it will take a little bit of getting used to for sure like when you jump in the first time it will be really really different but I think you'll get used to it so if you're at attacker spawn you'll come over here you'll wait for the barrier to go up and from this direction you can go to A site but you do have to be careful because people can peek here right at the start. And here you have A site. So A site's pretty different also. You can plant here. This is where everyone's been planting. It's like kind of default or you can plant also here. It's like a default area. What I've noticed by playing is you can't wall bang from here, but you can wall bang there so it kind of makes no sense i think it's a bug but i'm not entirely sure so say you spawn attacker's side you can also go from this way the a side you can either go through the door you can go this way so that is pretty decent um and then i'll just show you going from attacker side to b so again the barrier will be here and then You'll have people yeah. that will, that will peek here straight out, straight off the bat. So I'll take it up this way, then I'll go down that way. Oh, one thing I'd like to mention also is you get four orbs on this map. Uh, you heard me right, four orbs, which will be great for the likes of rays, you know, because obviously if you can farm orbs, orbs with rays, it'll really, really help towards the eight ult points. Same with any other agent that has the, the same kind of idea. So from here, when you come up, you have, I think this is Canteen, yeah, you got there. Canteen here, Gen, there. and Link. So this is straight from CT spawn. You can either go A from here, or you can go B. So being the CT spawn is here, it is the fastest rotate I've ever seen when it comes to a map, for the CT side anyway. For example, if you're sitting here and then you hear it's A, you're there in seconds. So also, if you're over on attack side and you're splitting B, this is kind of how it looks. You can go up tower. Or you can go around like, yeah. 
instead of going this way you can go under i think this is just called tunnel i guess and this is another route i think it'll be really good for like your cypher lurks or whatever what you guys really want to know if you're on this channel anyway is you want to know if it's a raise map personally going through as many jumps as i can possibly find for like an infinite Sat infinite satchels video um or even like a raise guide i don't think it's that great for like the satchel jump stuff i think it's a really good map for raise um satchel jump stuff though not so much unless you've got for example a sage on your team that can maybe wall you up here you can get a good spawn peak or you fly up here but again you need a sage you can't quite make it in this direction because you're too low and that's kind of like the only like because it's uphill it sucks and um, it seems to be the same kind of thing when you're going to be uh, sort of a it's on it's only uphill so you're down here a sights up i get well it's more level i guess but there's nothing you can really jump off of you can't jump onto this for example the only thing you can really do is throw your satchel and maybe land up here but you also need to remember that there could be a ct up here like watching dish you could be looking for this and then you fly up here and he's behind you and you're pretty open but i mean you can fly from from here until it's site as well it's just that it's very open but i mean if you've got someone smoking yeah. there off and there off then you push it could work it could work it's not very hard jumps but that is good for ways So while messing about, I managed to find this jump right here, which is really good for catching there. people pushing from attacker side. So just flying there. from upper A and landing on the box. Is it risky? It's risky, but did it expect you straight away up here? If you can manage to get a kill, fall off, it can be pretty good, pretty rewarding. It is risky though. So there's a jump here that, I mean, it's pretty risky again. They're all going to be like that, I guess. Especially the, the fact that a lot of these areas that you're going to fly to are pretty open. One thing you can do, though, is say they're pushing yeah. holes, for example. You can throw your boombot here. Satchel. Maybe get a kill. Land up here with a triple boost. I mean, that can be pretty good. There's also... Like this one, where you can fly from here, land up there, or you can do the other way back. But it can be pretty risky again. Especially the fact that CTs, like when I was playing customs, I would sometimes hold here so I can farm the orb. So I would farm the orb and then sometimes go back if no one's pushed. So if they're doing that and then you fly in here, it can be, can be risky. So the way the map's laid out, everything's uphill. It's not very great when it comes to you wanting to attack, especially as a raise main, and when it comes to, you know, using your satchels, because you really want height when you're, you know, doing raise stuff, hence why I'm up here, trying to get as much height as I possibly can. It'd be good if you could jump across there. That would be unreal. But all you've really got is you can either jump from here or jump from here. What I was trying to do was to try and land up on this box because it would be a pretty cool spawn peak to do. It would be pretty decent though if you're if you've got your ultimate for example to fly in get a fast pick because a lot of people will either let the spawn uh, barrier is right here so some people peek straight away and if you just fly right in with your ult you may get them but you know what ults like, you may hit them for 142 or something. One thing that's pretty decent is you can go from here, fly around to maybe catch them pushing on A. But if they push B and you've done quite your ultimate and there's three people here, you're pretty dead. So if you're not flying around like this, 
you need to remember that they can be here because obviously attack here. sides are at both. They can come across as zipline and they'll push this straight away. That's a decent raise jump as well, um, but you need to remember that there's a barrier right here also that they can be sitting here waiting on you and if you're just flying right up at them, easy peasy, you know? Unless someone flashes the corner, and then you fly around, you've got a good chance of landing up here and maybe catching a guy flashed. If you are watching here on, uh, on tower and they're pushing B, you've got your ultimate, it can be pretty good. to catch them off but I think overall going through the map there's nothing you can do when it comes to here for example you can do a jump from this box that will land you on a drop uh, you can go from rope to a drop if you want to triple boost you can go to a site a main you can't really do much you can't get on this box there's little barrels here that you can maybe get on the site or drop if they're on site and there's a lot of them you're going to get shot, shot out of the air. When it comes to B, you're on, say, this box here most likely because it's Sage. You need a Sage ball to go in this one. And unless you're really lucky and you've got a Sage main, that will help you do your raise stuff. And then happy days. So you can go in this box and with maybe some practice, you can land in this box. Yeah. I've done that for my next video. Um, I think, honestly, you can go from yeah. this box to that box yeah. with a little bit of practice and um, you should be able to get that down but jumping from b tree into b site b main i think you would definitely need your ultimate when it comes to a main i would say the exact same if you're holding a drop for example the pushing a you're pretty good because you've got height and when it comes to anywhere around here not you're not really loving life when it comes to a raise man if i'm being honest you can fly yeah. from here like it says by bench onto tower yeah um and yeah you can make like, and then when it comes to them pushing b site and you're on tower you can fly around into site with your ultimate but there are better raise maps for sure i think the last two maps so breeze and this map right here fracture aren't really raised maps uh, i would say this is definitely a raised map when it comes to just generally because there's a lot of like choke points yeah. that you can throw nades and use your boom bot on but i just mean like content like i do uh, when it comes to like satchel jumps and stuff i just personally don't think it's very good unless you have a sage man you can get like a sage man to boost you up here at the start of a round and you fly through or same again with up here. Satchel out. My I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. I will have a new Fracture video out tomorrow, Fracture but the floor is lava. I'm sure you've seen some of these kind of videos that I've done before. It's usually called Infinite Satchels or my last one was called Satchel Out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. See you later.